Kia ora, what's up, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how to replace your boot up sequence on your RGH or JTAG Xbox 360. Let's get started. So press the back button, go to scripts, go down to homebrew store. If it's not there, go to the Aurora repo browser and go down to utility scripts. And then we want to go down to the homebrew store, install that. Once that's installed, obviously go into it. Now we want to select the homebrew apps. And now we're going to search for the fake anim, which is usually the first one there. So press A on it and select yes to download. Press the B button, it'll ask you if you want to do a reboot, select yes. So once it reboots, hit the back button, go back into file manager, go to HDD1, go into the apps folder which is now being created, and then go into the fake anim folder. There is a file that's in here that we need to transfer over to a USB stick. This one here, the fake anim.ini. So we're going to insert our stick. Once that shows up, press the RB button, go down to the USB zero, go in the folder, press LB, select the fake anim.ini file, press left on the D pad, go down to copy, and then hit RB. Press left on the D pad, go down to paste, select yes. Now we can remove our USB stick and insert it into our PC. Now bring up the fake anim.ini file. We want to delete the calibration and change it to zero. We want to change this one here, the delay to 10 or three. It depends on what you want. I usually do it around about 10. And then we want to save the file. We want to eject the USB stick and put it back in our Xbox 360. Now press the back button, go back into file manager, scroll all the way down to USB zero. Press the RB button. Go back into the fake anim folder and we want to delete the INI that's already in there. Then press the LB to go back to the USB stick. Press left on the D-pad, go down to copy and press RB. Press left on the D-pad, go down to paste and select yes. And now it has transferred over Now go into the jukebox folder, you'll find several files in here. You only need to have one of these. These are the intro or boot up sequence videos. I'm going to delete three of these and keep the original Xbox DVD player movie. It's totally up to what you want. If you want to take a look at the file or the boot up sequence, press B. This is without having to restart your console. So we're going to go down to fake anim.xex and press the A button. So earlier we changed the settings within the fake anim.ini file and we changed the calibration from one to zero. So this is what it looks like when you don't change it and it's set to one. It comes up with a ugly red screen briefly and changing it to zero removes it totally. So here is the difference. So here it is with the calibration set to one. Here it 
is set to zero. Lastly, I'd like to say that once you've installed the boot anim, it will come up with this flash folder here. Do not delete anything in here or you're going to have issues if you go back to making this a non-modded console. So if I go into the USB stick here, this file name or this file here, I have removed it. This is the original boot up sequence for the Xbox 360. So in other words, when you remove that file and you boot up your 360, it will no longer show that sequence it will just go straight to your custom one but if you leave it there it will boot up the 360 logo uh, animation and then it will show yours so i've removed this so it only shows mine because i'm not going to change this xbox 360 back to how it was i'm going to leave it modded forever so it's custom so that's it for this video if you've learned something today please like and subscribe thanks for watching Cheers.